Good afternoon. We are in Newton Abbott and it's chilly and it's windy, but we're going exploring to see what we can find. So I hope you'll come with me. See you. So I googled best places to go for charity shops in Devon and one of the first places it came up with was Newton Abbott so I thought it was definitely worth us going and having a look and there were a great many shops. As usual I didn't buy in every single shop but there were, we saw some beautiful things, I mean look at the embroidery on that, some really nice items. I definitely nearly went home with that blue skirt. I do see a lot of very nice, glamorous evening wear, but I'm not going out very much at the moment. <laughs> so I don't think many of us are going out an awful lot at the moment. But it does mean that uh, there's no point buying really flash outfits. pretty. Silver sparkly rubber duck, just what you need. This seemed to be an independent charity shop called Hannah's but I didn't know anything about it. One of these, one or two of these shops were a little overpriced, but on average the prices weren't bad in Newton Abbott. It was uh, one of the better towns. So here's our first outfit. Um, I put my fluffy gilet on. It has been continued to be really, really chilly, but this is a lovely fleecy, uh, long, sort of over garment with a big cowl neck, pockets big buttons on it. I just think it's really fun. Um, kind of thing you could wear with your jeans. It's a little bit young. It doesn't look too grannyish. It's really funny. Um, and I paired it with this crazy necklace, which has got this big, great, big, juicy um, heart on it. Um, you can see right through the resin and it, it's just absolutely delicious. Um, I stuck a bow in my hair just to add to the sort of funky vibe and I really like this outfit. I would quite happily go out in this and be seen, uh, hands in pockets. <laughs> yeah, I really liked it. Um, and it's soft and it's warm, which are, you know, still in this time of year, very, very, very good. The more layers, the better. So I've got a polar neck jumper underneath and a very long skirt right down to my ankles to keep me warm. Now, the label on this is IZ, or Isabel, uh, from London. It actually says size 14 under the extra large, but um, because it's uh, stretchy, it's fairly forgiving. Because I'm definitely no size 14. Um, and I paid £3.50 for it. And it came from the Mare and Foal Sanctuary in Newton Abbott so yes that was a nice little find to get me started for the day showing off my cool £1.50 necklace that um, I found in Young Lives for Cancer. This is um, a silver jacket um, in sort of cut velvet that I found in uh, the Devon Air Ambulance. Uh, it's by Tiggy, which I, again I don't really know Tiggy, it's um, got covered buttons so you don't see the buttons when it's buttoned up. It's a size 18 to 20 and I paid £9 for it. I didn't mind paying a little bit extra because 
for a nice long line velvet jacket like that, I thought that was a very fair price. I think I'm going to get a lot of wear out of this. It's smart, but not so crazy smart that you don't feel that you can put it on. So it's something that will go over a lot of different things. I'm quite lucky in grey at the moment. I put it with a little grey agenda skirt that I picked up in Winscombe last time. And I found this necklace in the charity shop as well. £1.50. <laughs> very, very buoyant lime green um, lavender and white and grey crystals. I have one similar to it just in the greys but I just thought this one just added that little pop of colour. Now I'm modelling this with a shirt that um, I picked up in just Age, Age UK with a feather design on it and, I, and it's satiny and it's very very lovely but it doesn't fit me. It was a size 18 and it literally squashed my boobies flat. Um, I was even quite struggling to breathe. You can see I'm trying to pull it down, but it's literally skin tight over my boobs. So although I think this top is absolutely gorgeous, it's gone straight into my vintage shop because I've got to find somebody that will love it and wear it and actually can fit into it. And that's not me. But I was smitten with it. As soon as I saw it, I loved that feather design. I just thought it would look really cool and casual and come the summer I thought it would be absolutely delightful but not for me so if you pop to my vintage shop you'll be able to see that it's already on there I'm that fast and let me just check the label on that one that was creation L that top and this was the silkiest softest satiny feel so this is the last outfit um that's a it's a tie dry really colorful spring summery type skirt cotton um, it is lined, so this came from a charity shop called Hannah's, uh, and I think it's got one slight problem, as you'll see, and that is that all the colour seems to be at the back. So um, my husband noticed this and suggested that I'd need to turn it around, which is what I did, and it looks an awful lot better when, you, when I moved some of the colour to the front. Um, I've teamed it up with a top that I got in Winscombe, um, which is a strange label that I hadn't seen before. Um, it was called something like Code, 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 but uh, Code, Code, Code. Um, but it's an unusual shape and I really quite like it. And I thought it picked out the, the plummy purple in the skirt. I think I'm going to get quite a bit of wear out of this. It's it's fun, it's flirtatious, it's cotton, it's cool. Uh, yeah, so it looks better with that big splash of colour down the down the front rather than all at the back. You could have really uh, quite a bit of fun layering up some necklaces in all the different colours, the yellow, the pink, the blue and the purple. Really make it quite sort of psychedelic if you wanted to. I just stuck a, a pink um, jacket over my shoulder but uh, I didn't have anything quite in the stronger fuchsia pink fun outfit. Obviously better with sandals but as we're still in the chilly chilly weather um, if I'm wearing it with my tights and shoes, but yes, nice pair of sandals would look really nice with this. Quite like to have a go to my own tie dye, but um, that's for another day, a an adventure for another day. Have a go at the tie dye myself. Like, subscribe, you know you want to. Fabulous cream tea at the pharmacy.